Hi, I'm Leonie from Spines and Splines and today I thought I'd make a little update video for you. A few months ago I made this watercolour painting for my husband for his birthday. It's of our dog Tom who lived with us between 2008 and 2018. And I thought it would make a good video to watch while I talk about what I've been doing all year and a little bit of what's to come on this channel over the next year. The last few videos that I made here documented the instruments that I made from kits in April and May. The instruments and the build videos were both pretty big projects and took a lot of time, but I was working on a few other things alongside them, including an album of music that I've been recording, which I hope to have finished in 2023. It's also been a few years since I've had an exhibition of my own visual artwork. So in March, when I saw the call for papers and exhibitions at this year's Impact Printmaking Conference in Bristol, I decided to submit some proposals for a talk and an exhibition. I've had an idea for new work circling around in my mind for a while now, and I knew this would be a good opportunity to give myself a deadline and a focus to make that new work. My proposals were accepted, hooray! So since March, I've been busy writing a paper and making a series of hand-printed zines about music for exhibition at Impact. I flew to Bristol in September and set up my work at the conference and saw a bunch of friends that I haven't seen for ages and had a great time. I've got a bunch of footage from making that work ready to be edited into new videos for this channel, so stay tuned and subscribe if you haven't already to see a bunch of new videos about making art and music. Because I had a very specific set of deadlines to work to, editing video kind of had to be put on the back burner for a while, but in the next few months I'll be able to spend more time working to get those videos ready and posted here. I'm not really sure whether to call the artworks that I've made zines or artist books, or whether there's even really a difference, but so far I've made work about John Cage, Pinball Number Count from Sesame Street and Wham, and I have a lot more planned for the future. Around about the same time that I was applying to present my work in Impact, I saw a call from the Irish government to apply for their new Basic Income for the Arts pilot scheme. Now, to be completely upfront about it, you may have noticed that this accent is very much not Irish. I'm an Australian immigrant living in Ireland. I've been a resident here since 2017, and I've got the type of visa that allows me to freely live and work in Ireland. And because I'm a tax resident here, I was eligible to apply for this pilot program. It's kind of difficult to make a living from being an artist in general, and the pandemic in particular had a pretty devastating effect on the income of a lot of artists. Up until mid-2020, I'd been working as a freelance designer alongside making art, primarily because making money doing design is a lot easier than making money through art. And thanks to the pandemic, all that work evaporated in 2020. My clients understandably decided to take their design work in-house, but that meant that I had no income for a couple of years, except for the small amount of money that I make here on YouTube and on Patreon each month, and from the Procreate paper texture brushes that I sell on my website. We'd been trying to buy a house just before the pandemic hit, but that had fallen through and luckily we'd moved into a new rental house in early February 2020, with plans to be living here for about six months or so before we started looking to buy again. Lol. In April 2020, the company that my husband worked for was sold and eventually most of the staff were retrenched. And he's spent the past few years moving around different companies and has now finally settled into a job that's a good fit. Thankfully, he works in the type of field that makes him very employable, even during a pandemic. So we were able to rely on his income to support us for the past few years. I've been working a day or two a week locally for the past year or so, but when I saw the news for the basic income for the arts scheme, I got my application in straight away. Making art's what I do best, it's what I'm educated in, and it's what I've always wanted to do since I was a little kid. So the idea of being paid for three years to focus on art was an incredible thought. The difference between this scheme and a lot of government art funding is that it's not project-based. The money can be spent however the recipient sees fit, as long as they continue working as an artist, whether that's in visual art, writing, music, film, etc. The idea is to see if this injection of money helps revitalise and support the arts in general, and both the successful applicants and a control group will be regularly surveyed over the next three years to help measure the impact. So I applied for the scheme back around April, spent a good few months waiting and responding to requests for more information about my eligibility, then I waited some more, and finally in late August, the government sent out their emails telling people whether they were or weren't successful. Initially, over 9,000 artists applied for the scheme, and that application involved having to submit two pieces of proof that you'd worked as a professional practicing artist over the past five years. That could be by showing membership to one of the professional arts organisations listed, 
by providing proof that you'd made money from your art practice, by showing that you had a comprehensive body of work, or so on and so on. Because I'm not currently a member of any arts groups here in Ireland, I had to submit other proofs and had to keep giving more information several times during the review process. Everyone was given a chance to provide as much information as necessary and eventually 8,200 applicants were deemed eligible and were put into a random lottery to decide 2,000 places in the scheme and a further 1,000 places for the control group. There was about a one in four chance of being selected and amazingly, incredibly, I was one of the very lucky people selected to take part. I'll be getting a basic income of 325 euro a week for the next three years to continue making art. At the time of making this video, we haven't received any payments yet because things are still being set up, but when they start, it will be backdated to August 29, 2022, and it will continue for three years. We need to take a baseline survey before the first payment and make regular entries about our practice over the next three years as the pilot runs. I know that there were a lot of disappointed people who applied for this funding and weren't successful, and I want to emphasise to any of those people who might see this video that your work is valid and important, and I really hope that this trial is successful and that the scheme, or something like it, can be rolled out at a larger scale after the study, because the arts are important and essential to building a vibrant and well-functioning society. I also know that there are people who disagree with this scheme. I've seen your comments under news articles on Facebook and Reddit, and I know that there are members of the pilot who are hesitant to make their participation in this scheme public for fear of retaliation, and I 100% understand that decision. For me personally, I think it's important that I be public and transparent about it, in part so that others outside Ireland can see that this kind of forward thinking in government policy is happening, and that the general public can learn to better understand how funding the arts can help communities. I'm fully expecting that as an immigrant, I'm gonna get some racist backlash, but arts communities are wide and varied, and who knows, maybe people will surprise me. So that's what I've been doing over the past six months or so. There is one other big project that I have in the works that I can't talk about yet, but in the meantime, I'll keep working on my music scene projects and videos, so make sure to hit like on this video and subscribe to Spines and Splines on YouTube to see more soon, and comment below with any questions, particularly if you'd like more videos on the topic of Ireland's basic income for the art scheme. There are also links in the description to my Patreon page, Bandcamp, Facebook, Instagram, my website and more, and some affiliate links to places where you can find art materials and equipment. I've also listed all the materials that I used in this painting. See you soon. Cheers.